invocation and the pledge to the flag. Uh, invocation first. We would change that. Excuse me. <coughs> Bow your heads, please. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this beautiful weather. We thank you for this wonderful community that we live in and the opportunity to come together again to serve each other and, and to serve you to the best of our ability. We pray as we approach this Memorial Day weekend, Lord, a special blessing for our men and women in the armed forces, especially those who, who cannot be home with their families and loved ones who are abroad and in harm's way. And we pray special protection and comfort for them and bring them home as soon as possible and, and just take care of them in the, in the way they each need to be taken care of, Lord. And we thank you so much for their service, their unselfish service, and, and what they've given to, to provide the lives that we all have come to love. And we pray all these things in your holy name. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> Has everyone had the opportunity to read the minutes? Does anyone have any corrections or additions? The one thing I'd like to clear up is that I'm not an alternate. I am a bona fide member. Full fledged member. <laughs> there was a question about it last week, last meeting. So you could have voted. Yeah, you could have voted. But yeah, like that, yeah. Same thing happened. Wow. Okay, any other uh, additions or corrections? Hearing none, <coughs> I'll entertain a motion to accept the minutes as written. So moved. A second. second. And all those in favor, aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, the minutes are accepted. Uh, announcements, I have none. Out there any? If not, then we'll, re <coughs> we'll move on to case number 14-484, Edgewater Beach Owners Association. Uh, and for the, yes sir, please approach the bench and tell us who you are. Mr. Chairman, uh, for the record, my name is Greg Stewart of the law firm of Neighbors Gibble and Nickerson of Tallahassee, and I represent Walton County staff in this particular matter. Okay. Um, Mr. Stein, uh, we have requested a continuance of this matter. Uh, we know that this has been continued several times, but Mr. Jim Harmon, who is, we believe, is going to be a material witness in this, his mother died this week, and he is not available to appear. Uh, we would ask uh, to continue this matter so that he would be able to attend and provide testimony to the board. Any questions? Okay. Mr. Gates. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Of course, Edgewater is not going to object based on someone's mother passing away and then needing to attend to their affairs. I did notice at the last meeting of the code board there was uh, some consternation about the fact that we have to have continuances while I'm unavailable as a result of my legislative service. So I just wanted to inform the code board that uh, during the month of June, from June 1 to June 20th, we have a scheduled special legislative session where I will be unavailable. That could go to uh, as, as far as July 1. And so I uh, wanted to let the board know that. And you know the dynamic we're under as a result of this complaint in this matter is that we have sand that the county maintains is not compliant with the code that is uncapped. There's currently a stop work order, so we're unable to go and remedy the situation as the county would presumably have us do. So our hope was that this, at least the stop work order would be lifted and perhaps we can make the repairs so that this matter becomes new. Okay. Mr. Davis, do we have the ability to consider that matter? Yes, sir. You, you, could, you could continue the matter and issue a a um, uh, break to the staff to, to remove the stop work order, especially if the purpose is compliant. And do you have an objection to that? Does no, the county we do staff? not. I, just for clarification, the stop work order really only prohibits the bringing of unacceptable or unapproved material on site, additional material. Additional activities can go on. And so we have no objection to that with the understanding that that doesn't mean you can bring additional non-conforming sand back onto the site. Other than that, and I think that's, I think that's understood. Yes. Would somebody explain to me exactly what the remedy that you propose is? Uh, yes, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, there was an agreement memorialized between uh, 
officers with the county and the engineer for Edgewater had said that the top layer of this sand needed to be the clean white sand that we all know and love. And so our only desire is to comply with the agreement, bring in compliant sand, cap it, and then if, and then hopefully uh, that would be satisfactory to the county. But in the event that that isn't <clears throat> satisfactory at the further hearing, then are you prepared to remove that sand as well as the sand beneath it to start again? Yeah, um, that obviously would not be our desire. We would, that would likely spin us off into litigation, uh, Chairman Stein. I, I, our only desire is to bring in compliant product. So if the, if the county agrees that we can bring in product that complies with the law, that is our only desire. If we bring in a product that is not compliant with the law, then we ought to be punished for that. Well, you know, I'm a site contractor, so I've had experience in this matter before, and I've been made to remove sand that this was found unsuitable. It's been my experience that if this stuff gets covered up, mm -hmm. people tend to forget that it's there and somebody got away with something that they shouldn't perhaps have gotten away with. So we'd certainly like your assurance that in the event that you don't prevail, eventually that sand needs to be removed, the new clean white sand as well as the underlying sand. Yeah, uh, Chairman Steinoff, our only desire is to bring in compliant product if the county agrees that that will solve the problem. Our desire is not to have a, a band-aid that the county continues to maintain as unsatisfactory. So the only circumstance in which we would engage in a remedy is a circumstance in which everyone agreed that that would solve the problem. Well, the alleged violation, section 040707, is that bringing in unsuitable material? I'm sorry, yes, sir. What, could you tell us what section 040707 actually says? The, uh, yes, the, the requirements of the code are that uh, 07, that prior to any sand being brought on to site, it is going to have to be approved by the county engineer or, or his designee, which under Walton County Code is the code enforcement officer is the designated official. Uh, as far as what Mr. Gates is indicating, uh, we are not familiar with what agreement he is talking about. However, the point of his issue was whether there's a stop work order that would somehow prohibit him from d conducting activities out there. We have no objection to the uh, lifting of the stop work order to the extent that it would not prohibit bringing acceptable sand there. We do not believe that just adding sand on top is the solution, and we think that is still contrary to the ordinance. Mr. Folks. Yeah, what's, what I want to be sure we're talking about here is not just bringing in sand and covering up the bad sand, but taking the bad sand out. Is that, are you, is that part of what you intend to do? Well, uh, if I may, Mr. Chairman, uh, there was an agreement that was blessed by the county. If we were going to have our evidentiary presentation here, we intended to put on evidence that the county blessed, fully agreed to, signed off on every particle of sand that is currently on the property. We're obviously not going to do that now. Our desire was to go dig up several feet of the, of the bad sand. And we were going to put on an engineer that would say, you can't dig up every element of it because then you threaten the structural integrity of something there that is preserving cooling towers of a condominium from falling into a lake. So I cannot represent to you that our remedy is to pull up every particle of sand because that could lead to some greater calamity just based on the level to which the existing sand can be compacted more effectively. So we want to scrape off the top several feet, whatever the county will agree to, uh, put on the compliant sand and cap it. The problem is if we reach no agreement, and I'm unavailable for a hearing in June, then we're you know eight weeks down the road with what the county maintains is non-compliant sand blowing around. I don't think Edgewater wants that. I can't imagine that the code board or the county would want that. So we're simply trying to achieve a solution where we scrape up however much sand they would agree to, put the proper sand on top without threatening the structural integrity of the, of the, of the seawall. Thank you. Okay, so there is removal involved. Yeah, well, but he's saying that they're not prepared to remove everything that they brought in if it's found unsuitable. Uh, but that's the case, that's the case. Right. If we hear the case, we'll have to consider that. But mm -hmm. at this point, we're not going to hear the case. So the question is, does the stop, removing the stop work order make sense? Well, yeah, Commissioner, there's 
two questions. The first uh, one. Chairman, <laughs> I have been elected. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> If I'm, I say judge, if <laughs> There's two questions. The first is whether or not you want to grant the continuance based on the county's representation regarding their witness. The second question is if, if you grant that continuance, do you want to let the st stop work order direct the county staff to, to uh, let the stop work order? Uh, you don't have to do one. I mean, you can choose to do one or the other. It, it's not You're not bound to do both or uh, bound to not do both. So. Hey. Well, let's take the easy one. Let's We're not actually telling the county to lift the stop work order. We're just giving them permission to negotiate you, to lift it. You actually, and Greg, you may correct me, but I believe you have the authority to direct the staff to lift the stop work order if you choose to do so. You don't have to, but you certainly do. But is there that middle ground? Uh, you could take no action, and the county could negotiate with Mr. Gates about what he wants to do between now and next year. And well, I, and, but now, just to be clear, I, I don't think the staff can bind you to a determination regarding the, the, the complaint. I have a question that uh, this uh, <coughs> code paragraph that they gave us is 4.07.05, talking about removal of prohib prohibited materials. Uh, as I read it quickly, I think it really refers to right away, but it does say that. If a sand dune is impacted from edge to edge, the removal is required for the area disturbed or exposed to a depth of three feet beneath the plane of land surface at each edge. Is that what we're talking about? We well, talking about this particular section is specific to right of way. Yeah, okay. So right what what then is the depth in this particular area as you show us in the picture? The way well, the what would make this ground is that it prohibited sand is brought in, all prohibited sand must be removed. Paul, and can you tell me what the current depth of that prohibited sand is? Uh, I think according to the plans, uh, it was about 12 feet. Mm -hmm. 12 feet. Okay, but I think we're getting ahead of ourselves. This is the case that we're going to hear or we're going to continue. I think the first thing we need to do okay. is decide whether or not to issue a lift, continuance. If we lift the work stop, what work is going to happen while mm -hmm. that gets Well, let, let's get to that in a moment. Let's see if we're going to give them the continuance. If we're not, then we'll get to go into all these particulars. But if we are going to give them <clears> the continuance, we don't need to hear the case tonight. We just then need to decide whether we'll lift the stop work order. I have another question. Is there any reason why we can't hear a portion of this and continue to hear testimony at, at, at another meeting? From Mr. Davis. Uh, no, you're in charge of your own proceed, proceedings. You can, you can choose to bifurcate the hearing. <coughs> by, by bifurcate, I mean hear part of it tonight and part of it at a later time. There's no prohibition against it. Certainly get us a lot further than we've been for the last four or five months. That's well, but, but, what, but what I'm hearing... But what I'm hearing is if the, is if we if we continue it and lift the stop work order, obviously code enforcement's still going to be overseeing what's going on out there. There's a chance that they could come into compliance to negotiate whatever compliance is with code enforcement. Obviously, there's a chance they couldn't, but in that event, we hadn't lost anything other than two months, possibly. You mean if the <coughs> of the sand turns out to be the permanent am solution? I, am I understanding lose? right? I mean, yeah. Well, okay. yeah, I'm interested in Mr. Gates made the statement earlier that if they remove all the sand, it puts the seawall in jeopardy. Is that correct? Well, Mr. Sullivan, I am not an engineer and do not want to pretend to be one. That is the testimony that engineers would offer to this board this evening or whenever you choose to. Right. Well, but did, did, did you make that allegation? Yes, I, I am proffering that that would be the evidence that Edgewater would put on. Okay, thank you. Was the seawall permitted as well as far as, uh, is, is this sand supporting that? Is that a part of the permitting process or what? Uh, if we make the, if we let, allow the, take the dirt out and allow the wall to fall? Yeah, I, I, Edgewater's position would be please don't send us back to DEP and the Army Corps of Engineers. We've gone through all the hoops and scoops with them where we if we've had a subsequent agreement on displaced water, and if we have to do that again, <coughs> that would be tremendously burdensome. So uh, uh, it, it is not as easy as simply, you know, uh, allowing the seawall to fall in and then reconstructing it. Well, could you clarify what work will be done uh, if we lift the work order? What work will be done? Thank you for the question, uh, and if I may, Mr. Yeah, Chairman. please. Uh, the 
work that will be done is we will go dig up three feet of sand that is the sand that the county believes is non-compliant. We will put three feet of white sand on top of it and you know, do so in concert with the county, not in conflict. Because as Mr. Fine correctly points out, if we go and do those things without concurrence of the county, we'll be right back here potentially, and it could lead to Edgewater incurring unnecessary expenses. So we want to go dig up three feet, yeah. put compliant sand on, and hope that that is what satisfies all. Mr. Chair, uh, may, yes. may I just one thing? Matt, just Mr. Gates, just to make sure I understand. You're saying that you won't do any work unless you have the agreement of the staff that this will be something they would be find acceptable in terms of cure. Yes. Okay. So if they lift the stop work order, the staff says, staff and the staff attorney says, no, we don't agree that this is an acceptable cure. We're just back here in two months. That's okay. what I understand. Okay. Yeah. I just want to make sure. Well, what I understand is that there's 12 feet of, of uh, illegal sand, and you're going to move three, remove three feet of it? Well, we don't uh, concede that there's 12 feet of illegal sand. We intend to put on evidence at the trial that says that everyone from the county administrator to county commissioners county engineers were out there saying this is in fact compliant sand. If they made an error in determining that it was compliant sand, certainly can't hold that against my client. So that would be the evidence, and so I don't want to grant that premise for the purposes of this discussion. Mr. Chairman, for the purposes of uh, following up on what Mr. Davis indicated, uh, we, are, we are comfortable to work with Mr. Gates and Edgewater to come up with a plan, or at least a plan that we believe Will, will help stabilize the site or potentially mitigate the problem. We're not sure that just a partial removal is going to do it. But to the extent that you would want to lift the stop work order and then allow the uh, Edgewater to work with the county engineer in developing a plan, we believe that would be acceptable at this point. If we are unable to arrive at, at a agreeable plan that, that we believe is consistent with the ordinance, we're back in two months, and we'll, we'll deal with it. Okay. okay. I like that. That's very helpful. All right. Well, then, first of all, let's decide if we need to or uh, issue a continuance. Are we? Is that acceptable? I'll make a motion we grant the continuance. I say. Anybody? Uh, any discussion? Yeah. Well, if, if if I think I heard all this correctly. Yeah. We're, we're going to let them work together, see how much they really have to take out, and if the county says no, it's got to all come out, then we're coming back and talk about it. We are continuing the hearing now. Right. Right. So, so what we need to do is just Grant say, the yeah, we'll, leave, we'll lift the, 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 the prohibition on the work, and we'll see in two months, and you can tell us how it goes. Well, That's we can make thing. it one motion to both one continue year. and lift the stop work order, or we could vote to issue the continuance and then vote on the stop work order. Let's just do it in two parts that way. It'd be, sure. Okay. So does anybody, it, look, I'll call a question. Does anybody want to move or has it been there so moved? There has been a motion in second. All right. Then all those in favor of uh, issuing or uh, allowing a continuance for however long it takes for Mr. Gates to get back, say aye. 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 And those opposed? It carries unanimously. All right. Mr. Chairman, as to the second motion on the stop work, we would like that to also be conditioned on an agreement with staff in terms of a remedial plan. That we don't have any problem with lifting it, but we want that we want a specific condition that we don't just go out and start doing things, that we want to work together with, with the Edgewater people, try to develop a plan. But if we can't develop a plan, we we want to be able to, to be able to say no, we can't come to it. So if we made a motion that said we have conditionally lifted the stop work order unless the county objects, that would be satisfactory to you? Well, I think we, we lift this work order contingent on the an agreeable plan between the applicant and the county staff to be arrived at. No be, objection. Before the work begins? Yes. yes. And then the, you'll monitor the work, the staff will monitor the work, yeah. and if in fact they don't comply, the stop work order goes back on. Yeah. Questions? And I, I would only say that existing stop work order, I'm relying on uh, the statement that that only prohibits non-compliant product. I mean, we're not going to go out there and do things that you would then later force us to pull up. So we have no objection to what was stated, so long as all the representations made here are, can be relied on. That is a correct statement. It only prohibits bringing unacceptable material on site. Okay. Does anybody have any further questions? Just one. Yeah. You're going to remove three feet, and you and you're going to put you're going to go ahead and put the 
The good stuff work. back home? No, they we can't. Don't, it's up I mean, if, if they work it out. Feet. We don't if they work it out. Okay. I'm going to remove as many feet as will make Walton County happy. <laughs> Okay, somebody want to make a motion? I'll try. <laughs> okay, I, um, I move that we, we lift the stop work order, the rec staff will lift the stop work order uh, to the extent that uh, Edgewater and county, then the county can negotiate a comp uh, means by which the Edgewater can come into compliance. Well, a statement of work anyway, what they're going to do. That they agree well, I don't know what's going to happen. Getting that much detail and then just some. I'm guessing. Uh, was my guess? Yeah. Right. So, to the to the extent that the Edgewater and the county, uh, county and Edgewater can negotiate a plan to come into compliance, do I need to go any further than that and say, um, and with which doesn't happen, we'll back. They can yeah. issue another stop. Well, it, it seems clear that they're going to have to start digging in order for the county to formulate the solution. I understand that. I understand. But what I'm, I'm trying not to get mired down in the specifics of it, just yeah. I think to the extent that the county and Edgewater can come in to negotiate a plan whereby Edgewater comes into compliance, I think, covers it. I'll second that so we can have more discussion. Okay. The, the only Did you get a motion on that? Is okay. that permanent yeah, compliance? Or that? Well, well, hold, hold on. Hold on. You said come into compliance. Do you mean permanent compliance or compliance right. until we can hear the matter? Or to the extent that they can come into compliance, yes, either permanently or up to the point where they can't. They're well, at an was, as I understand the motion, it's, it's staff's approval. Right. Whatever they say is what goes. Is right. what I understand the and I believe okay. that's what I understand Mr. Gates to be. Yeah, fine. Okay. Any other questions? If not, we'll call the question. All those in favor, aye. 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 Any opposed? It carries. All right, so we have the continuance and you will work with the county as long as you possibly can and hopefully we won't hear this again. Hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Okay, we'll move on to the second case, case number 14-602, Linda Van Dyke, an alleged violation of section 11. Whoops. Are you okay? Oh, you're gone. Okay. 110402 regarding building without permits. Yeah, Jason Catalano with Walton County Code Enforcement. Uh, the both, uh, both of the remaining cases um, have both been uh, brought into compliance as of yesterday. Great. Uh, they came in there both regarding building permits. They came in and got their building permits. Um, so uh, that is the end of our agenda for tonight's. That's great. Now listen to a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Uh, all right. This meeting is officially adjourned. But let me ask a question, okay? And this is just me as a citizen, not a member of the code board, okay? And then let's not have board members all present. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's just as, I mean, it's public knowledge. Yeah, is we, the, we don't discuss a case we can talk, can we? Yeah, the, the meeting's over, okay. No, but my question is, is the uh, the issue of the magistrate come up at the next meeting? In Defuniac on the 29th? Okay. He's not going to be hearing on that issue down here? Or did he want to hear? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. No, no, we just 